Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I am Christy Van with Fantastic Finances, and I discuss velocity banking on this channel, helping people get out of debt and get out of debt quickly. So today we are working with a client that is in a negative cash flow, but he is looking to get employment to increase his income, which will set him on the positive side of the cash flow. At this point though, he is negative. So we want to work with him to help him get through the couple or three weeks that he will need uh, until he gets that first paycheck. So let's talk about his income. He is on an employment at this time and the total income for the month, four weeks, is $1,964. He has a total expense of $3,188. $1,750 of that can be put on credit cards. His uh, cash flow is a negative $1,224. His debt is a mortgage at 4.25%, $68,000 with a $420 a month house payment. He has a car payment of $598 a month. He has three credit cards, a Discover at $1,600, another one at $1,000, and then Capital One at $1,300. He has a one main loan at $8,100 at 27%. This will be the first thing we work on once he gets his new job. So let's talk about what he can do to ease the struggle a little bit until he starts getting new paychecks. So if we have our bank, and then his income is going into the bank. So we'll write bank. So once his income goes in here, I'm assuming that he has been letting us sit in there and then as you know his electric bill comes due, he will pay it. And his water bill and if he wants food, on and on, it comes out of the checking account. But now we are going to suggest that he starts putting everything up to $1,750 in living expenses on his credit card. Now his living expenses are his electric bill, his water bill, his car insurance, his car gas, uh, food, groceries, anything that you can put on a credit card, you need to put it on a credit card and I'll show you why. So once the money comes into the bank, now he is going to withhold at this point, it would be $1,483, but since we're going to take 500, and I have done these figures is how I know this, I'm not guessing. If, if we take the 1964, put it in the bank, then he turns around and puts $581 into this Discover card, it will knock out the $55 payment because the bank or the credit card will consider the payment satisfied due to the income chunk that he did. Okay, so $581 will go into the Discover. As far as his expenses, the $1,383 that he needs for cash payments, and that's your mortgage, you know, you have to pay that with a check or cash. Uh, the car payment has to, I imagine. Um, you might want to check on that. I don't know if, since this car payment is through Capital One, I'm not sure if you would be able to um, work that out some way that maybe that's considered or it can be paid on a credit card. I have never thought of that, so I don't know. Um, if you bank with Capital One, that certainly may be an option to look at too. I'm not sure about that. I haven't done any car loans through Capital One, so I'm not sure how that works. Um, I'm not sure who this person even banks with, so I don't have a whole lot of information, but I wanted to show him what he can do to get him through the next couple or three weeks so he can breathe a little bit while he waits on uh, his new employment. So if he comes in and he puts the $581 onto this Discover, it will knock this uh, Discover payment out. Plus it gives him the remaining limit plus his $581. 
to start working on his expenses, his living expenses every month, which is his food and the gas and, you know, the car insurance stuff I already went over. If he can regulate just a little bit on his food and the groceries, anything that he has extra expenditures on. So since we are working with him uh, to begin January of 2023, we wanted to show him what he could do to ease the struggle just a little bit until he gets the, um, the income coming in from the new employer. So if you were to take the $581, put it in Discover, like I said, that knocks out the payment, satisfies that. So when he comes in and makes the $581 chunk directly into the Discover, that will give him the funds that he needs for two to three weeks to pay these uh, expenses, which were the electric, phones, water, uh, the food expense, car gas, etc. So if he can just lower his expenditures just a bit until he gets through the few weeks that it's going to take to get his first paycheck, he will be fine because any increase in his income will do nothing but help us to start to wipe out this debt. So this way, when the 581 goes into the credit card, then he can come and pay his electric, phones, uh, food, gas, oh, that's car gas, sorry, car insurance, etc. right? So when he's using one card, that means that this is coming off through the month. So the electric might be on the first, the phone's on the second, the food comes out whenever he goes uh, and gets groceries or restaurant food. So that's any time. The car gas, that might be once a week. So that might be on the third and the 15th, you know, something like that. And then your car insurance might be on the 27th. So everything is coming out at different times in the month that gives us a chance to play catch up with the new employer to where we're getting the income to come in and start wiping out this debt. So my suggestion would be that he handle his debt in this way that releases him from the struggle of trying to figure out how he's going to pay all of this. And then it takes some of his living expenses, puts it down here, that only decreases his Discover card as well because if he's taken, uh, uh oh, if he's taken a $1,600 balance and he's minus an off or making an income deposit of $581, then what is that? We've got, there you go. That will be his new Discover balance that he's paying 18% on. And then slowly, you know, as the electric comes up, say, and then as your car gas comes in, you know, 50 here, 50 there, or whatever, you'll start adding the numbers back up. But that's throughout the month. It gives him a couple of weeks to come up with another paycheck. It gives him a couple of weeks to work. Some employers, you know, you work a week and you'll get paid the next week. Uh, some are two weeks and then you get paid in the third week. So either way, he has time to play catch up here. Uh, if, he, if he handles his income or he doesn't put it all in the bank, he only puts this 1383 that he needs to make these payments. He's not putting the whole amount into the bank. As soon as that paycheck hits the bank, he needs to immediately take the $581, throw it onto a credit card, and slowly let the stuff come off of that Discover, giving him a couple of weeks, maybe three, to where he is ready to really start throwing some income into there. At that point, we will reanalyze his debt we will reanalyze his income and we will give him another breath of fresh air when we see how quickly that we can bring this one main down and get that paid off. 
Um, with his credit scores, one more thing. His credit scores are pretty low right now. If he plays with this credit cards here like I'm wanting him to, very possible they could raise quickly. Even if they don't, when he gets that new income in, it will all come together because as we start paying down, his credit scores start going up. So if you have any questions about anything that I have talked about in this video, please leave any comments below. Um, I have a contact form link below that you can go to my website. Um, I have a worksheet on my website. If you want to send me your information, I'll be glad to go over your information as well. I can do a whiteboard or we can talk on the phone for a few minutes. But I have enjoyed having this time with you. I want to thank all of my subscribers. I hope that I am bringing value to your life by what I am teaching here because I want to see everyone debt free. Thank you and have a great day.